Hi again, I'm Pierre. Welcome to the garage. Uh, this time we're going to start from stock to make a decently uh, done handle with a ta nice taper, polished, uh, threads formed handle to receive uh, eventually a uh, wooden handle, cap everything so I'll, I'll make uh, I'll make different steps so we can uh, elaborate on the, on a few on a few things as uh, as we go we'll see also how uh, stainless chip you know a few of the chip formations on stainless some of the nasty ones and some of the better ones so with no further delay let's just go to uh, see how we make the uh, first part of the handle I'll make the uh, second part of this uh, handle I'll make it uh, the, the, the taper part I'll make it uh, separate so we can elaborate a little bit more how we uh, form it and uh, taper it. Uh, working with stainless here, this is a about nine inch, uh, about almost ten inch bar of three quarter inch uh, diameter stainless. I'm just preparing the ends. Tighten the chuck. Okay, we're now facing. Oh, with this. I reset to zero. I'm going to take a cut about uh, 100 thousandths for a um, half inch far. Uh, it's already. It's like I say, I'm not overdriving and I'm just uh, saving the tools. I'm about three to four thousandths from the end uh, leaving me a place to finish another uh, another hundred chips are breaking at least this is about uh, 50 thousand cut and I'm going disengaging, going to uh, my mark, coming back and just making the shoulder at the same time, making sure I'm getting rid of that big burr on this side there. Okay, that's not there anymore. I'm using a um, high-speed steel tool here, leaning very close up the shoulder there I'm going on the DRO and I'm uh, setting my uh, for tool number six now bringing this about uh, 60 thousands down in there sometimes it goes a little smoother sometimes it goes a little jerkier it not it depends how the uh, the material has been worked when I uh, when when fabricated, that's uh, you know, stainless is pretty finicky. Okay, next operation, and keep lubricating, it helps. Chamfer in the end, this is going to be uh, a die cut in there. Okay, last up on this. I mean, almost last up. Uh, center drilling because it's going to be used between the, the chuck and the uh, center. Uh, apply pressure and just let it go. Don't rub. It's going to work hard and then that you'll regret it. Never go past, you know, 
the uh, tool there, you never pass the uh, two quarters of the uh, angled place there. Uh, there got to be more operations on this, but uh, since you don't really want to cut yourself uh, in between operations on the burrs, the light deburring is always something that uh, appreciated. Okay, making 25 of those single point. Uh, really, really easy to make, but uh, I find that a little bit time consuming. So, uh, locking the uh, the tail stock. There's got a die holder there. I'm turning about I don't know maybe two three hundred RPMs. I'm gonna get this engaged, and as soon as soon as uh, it's gonna be engaged, I'll unlock the. Uh, the tail stock. Okay, we're right down in. Backing it up. One nice tread done. Yep, just a little clean up. Very light clean up. Uh, one little trick about maybe uh, just not accumulating errors when you measure. Uh, I need like nine inches, uh, seventy-five thousandths from this edge there, this uh, to the end of there. I need to face this off and then make you know plus minus five thousandths, which is a uh, not a very hard uh, goal to get. But this threaded end there can have a few discrepancies from you know the. Uh, one another, so I don't want to accumulate and uh, referencing, in, you know, uh, with the uh, the end there. So what I did, got myself a little bushing here, which is a little bit longer of the, uh, than the threaded part. I'm going to be putting the little bushing right down there, under the uh, the edge there, and this is where I reference my uh, height gauge, 975 thousandths from this edge there. Now. Making sure it's tight. Making a little mark there. And that's it. I'm going to be doing all the other ones the same way. And I'm sure that I'm not going to accumulate the error from the, uh, the threaded part. Now time to face this. Um, I'm going to be lining up by, uh, I think visually, we need four plus, of plus minus four tenths. So I think this shouldn't be a problem to... Uh, okay. insert is I know it's pretty faint but I see here that the insert is pretty much crossing the line a little bit more perfect put the DRO to zero and uh, we're in plus plus minus uh, five thousandths is no problem to uh, visually align also uh, stainless steel grab it good in your jaws because it might just uh, pull in or out or slip because it's pretty uh, this is pretty slippery. Uh, not, we're, gonna, we're not gonna take, uh, you know, like a sixty or seventy thousandths of a cut at the, uh, you know, for facing. Facing is hard operation for uh, for tooling and everything. Okay, uh, we'll take uh, thirty thousandths about, and we'll leave about uh, twenty-five thousandths. A little bit of this always helps. Manual feed. Uh, we're making last cut. We got about twenty six, twenty seven thousandths. Let's take a final cut with this. Okay. manual feed I'll make sure that I get rid of that little pip in the middle because if you want a center drill after this it might just cause you problems and deflect the tool from the uh, the center that's where you uh, you know center your tool good and uh, get a good uh, get a good surface there you go with that kind of finish at the end you know you're not gonna have any problems uh, 
center drilling the uh, the end of the bit won't be thrown off this step making the uh, center holes the center uh, for uh, drilling and tapping nice landing I'm judging the uh, depth by the uh, width of the uh, chips when I feel that's enough I stop sometimes you gotta clear the chips because that's good I'm gonna be installing the uh, lips near the entry there locking the tailstock uh, 200,000 per turn and I'm going to uh, push it in until uh, about an inch done and uh, let's go once you start you don't stop because uh, the feed rate and the uh, pressure you apply is very important to have a very nice and steady uh, drilling one two no jerking three four it's starting to jerk at five perfect when you start a jerk you you come out of there and you uh, uh who wants to tap a uh, quarter 20 one inch long per hand you know by hand not me so we're going to be uh using this chuck as uh some kind of a tapping head so i'm just throwing it in 650 rpms it will slip at the end reversing that's done now time to remove some uh, stuff from the handle I made a mm. yeah it shows made a discreet little mark with the height gauge and I'm uh, installing the chuck and this is gonna be done by a visual lining since the tolerance doesn't have to be uh, much more than plus minus five tenths uh, five thousand sorry I'm uh, going to line up visual that's it zero the DRL we're turning we're turning about 650 rpms gonna make a little visual mark on this go to the start uh, lubricate a little bit and we're pretty uh, pretty aggressive on the uh, on these cuts going uh, hundred thousandths on the diameter from 750 to 650 and turning about like I said 650 rpms and uh, we're uh, advancing at 10 uh, 10 thousands per revolution so it's pretty aggressive if you go below that we produce uh, stringy stuff this will make uh, nice springs and yes it's a little noisy chips are getting thrown pretty much around uh, removal rate is uh, you know kept to a uh, reasonable speed don't have all day leaving uh, maybe five to ten thousands for finishing this is another hundred thousand five fifty plus minus a thousand doesn't really matter that stage department uh, started to get hot a little bit the chips are kind of a uh, just straw color not bad and stainless steel is a very uh, you know it's, it's a tough material to machine you slow down your uh, 
speed and uh, you, you can't you can't machine that as fast as a uh, free machining steel this time we're taking 40 thousandths for a pre-finishing cut this is going to be a little bit more stringy and not to be touched if this catches you closing cut trying to get right down to the uh, the gold but that will I'll need another uh, spring cut over this this is uh, about 13 13,000 cut still the strings and I'm and trying to stay away from uh, in front of the uh, the chuck though this is a very dangerous situation Closing, uh, that will need a spring cut. There's a bird nest down there. I mean, uh, I'm not going to touch anything and I'm going to stay away from this. So, uh, just in case it catches in the chuck. Okay, pulling out, going to code length, just make that uh, shoulder cut, that's it, light sanding, light uh, deburring at the end, perfect, one done see if it fits now cleaning up and with the test handle see if it fits nice fit perfect this gives you a pretty uh, extreme close-up of the uh, the part see the um, tread tread like uh, finish on this this is a, ten this is a result of a tenth uh, tenth of an uh, ten thousand of an inch advance and it's something that I uh, I want on this t to help me uh, glue just the uh, do a better uh, better adhesion on the uh